3 News Now is bringing you stories of people, plans and projects aimed at showing you how Omaha is moving forward. And tonight I present you with a local group that was started to help boost our local economy and help businesses move forward during the pandemic. There's both a social and an economic hard impact on supporting the locally owned independent small mom and pop businesses. Jason Feldman is all about supporting local and now he's a lead ambassador for Keep Local Alive Omaha. Keep Local Alive, it started here in Omaha and it's since expanded to 75 other cities across the country um, after the success we've had here this past year. It's a groove that started on Facebook after the pandemic hit and greatly impacted businesses with the goal of sustaining the initial excitement to support local. Do you take your bags? Uh, almost exactly a year ago, um, you know, for about a month after everything shut down, everyone was really excited to support local. And then a lot of that, what I heard from a lot of business owners, was that it just kind of fizzled out. Hey everyone, I'm at Exist Green. Ambassadors like Feldman started by promoting one business at a time online, getting their members, who are called the Boost Crew, to support the business. It was great that we were helping one business, um, but there were so many others that we wanted to help. We wanted to help the small local retailers and the barber shops and the places that you know weren't just able to just get a to take a big influx in, in sales. The group then started doing more large-scale boost events in entire neighborhoods. They recently did an event in Dundee and recruited neighborhood-level ambassadors who are business owners or neighborhood leaders, like Dundee Flea owner Robin Heller. They gave me the steps to. Uh, really go around and promote and talk to local businesses about what it is to be part of the Dundee community. And I went around to every local business within a couple of days and said, this is something that I want you to be a part of. And the reception was so nice. And it's something that the people aren't used to because you're really getting something for nothing. You're getting that, that peace that, wait a minute, they're going to do what? They're going to promote local businesses? What, what's it cost? What is it? And it's really just a networking ability for us businesses to all get involved with each other and find a way to support each other in the community. Other businesses like Dundee Double Shot, that's just a few shops down, where owner Connie Lang is all about community. She even has different coffee beans named after different Omaha neighborhoods. For her, Keep Local Alive is just another way to connect with other business owners beyond Dundee. This group gave us the opportunity to really uh, shine as far as small businesses supporting small businesses and um, so that's what we began to look to do. How can we help our neighbors and really reaching out to the other small businesses and uh, bringing their products into Dundee Double Shot as well as going and supporting them. Feldman says for businesses to stay afloat this past year has been a mantra. Moving forward, Keep Local Alive doesn't want the support for local to die. Even though we originally started this in response to COVID shutting businesses down, um, it is exciting to see that there is a lot of interest to keep this going long past. The future is not promised right now, and so we're all doing our best to kind of stay alive and thrive in what way we can, and that looks different for everybody. So to have that support with each other has been really strengthening for all the businesses here. Feldman says if everyone spent $20 a week to local businesses, that would greatly boost the local economy. Now to find out more about the organization and upcoming boost events and all of our moving forward stories, visit our website 3newsnow.com.